Hey guys, how's it going? DUJ2 here. Welcome back to Fortnite Save the World and um, possibly the last part, part three of my ultimate, my personal ultimate ninja setup. Um, I do want to talk about a couple of things before we jump. So in this video, what we're going to do is we're going to finish working on this setup. Uh, which means we're going to take Miss Sarah Claus all the way up to 106. We're going to work on a couple of my weapons and we're going to work on a brand new weapon that I want to try out. Well, it's an older schematic, but I'm going to take mine all the way to 106 Obsidian. Because as you guys know, speed is key. I go for the speed. But someone was uh, telling me about the fact that if you're looking for if you're looking for crit, if you're looking for crit damage, um, and thank you very much, actually, I forget who the person was, but someone did say that um, the, where what's it called? The Master Ninja, the Sword Master Ken, I've been saying that he is the only one that has five wins cut. Now, that is kind of true, because he is the only one, the only one that gives the five wins cut as a support squad bonus. But he's not the only one that has it. In fact... Uh, Harvester Sarah, which if you guys haven't seen Miss Mew Mew's videos on Harvester Her Sarah, uh, she is amazing with a scythe if you happen to have the right scythe. And Miss Mew Mew has the right scythe. She's got the scythe that came out during that event. And it is ridiculous. Her neon scythe is amazing. But she does also have five wins cuts. So if you wanted to use, uh, if you wanted to use Medicinal Fumes, which is amazing, um, and you wanted to use uh, Dim Mac and you wanted to use a Scythe, then using Harvester Sarah in your first slot with a slice, um, with a slice, with a Scythe, with a Scythe, and then uh, putting um, a, what's it called, so a Swordmaster Ken, it will still give you that extra damage, that five wins cut extra damage, which is going to add up to 48%. So, yeah, if you happen to have a godly Scythe and her, you can also use her in that setup. Um, but just to let you guys know that because someone did say that and I was like, wait, I, I thought that he was the only one. But no, there is there is another one. There is another one. All right. So let's go ahead and work first off on Sarah Claus. Uh, so we're just going to be taking her. We're going to take her up to four stars and we're going to level her up all the way. And again, the reason why I use Sarah Claus, uh, Claus in that tertiary spot in the what's it called? Tactical support sp slot, I think it's called. Is that what it's called? Uh, tactical, yeah. In the tactical squad bonus is because of hardy strikes. Every fourth hit with a melee weapon restores 24 base health. And if you happen to have... Ooh, look at that. If you happen to have a weapon like this, with that speed, it will really benefit you. So what I'm going to do right now is we are going to... I'm going to go ahead and upgrade these perks. Uh, I'm going to take this one. I'm going to take my fire and 15% damage up to legendary. Um, this is the very, 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 very first time that I have ever used legendary. Legendary perks uh, or perk ups to perk something up. Uh, so it's going to do a little more, more damage now. I'm going to keep the, the triple attack speed at epic. Uh, maybe once I go into twine and once I can you know, start uh, farming more uh, legendary perk ups. I will start using uh, those legendary perk ups to level this up because my Masa Moon is definitely going to be one of the first weapons I'm going to take all legendary. But we're going to work on the durability. So I am actually going to take away the durability. Um, I've been trying a couple different things. I've been trying the ram damage resistance. I've been trying the, uh, the life leech. I haven't really tried movement speed yet, um, but I'm kind of thinking that damage resistance is the way to go. Um, the 20% damage resistance does do a very, very, very big thing. It, it's amazing. It's amazing. Um, life leech. I don't believe life leech is on every single hit. If it was on every single hit, I would be seeing a much bigger difference on the other swords I have. I think it's, you get the 3% life leech after you defeat someone. But then again, using my Masamune with the triple attack speed, those four hits happen really fast. So, um... 
I'm really tempted to go movement speed. I'm really tempted to go movement speed on this one. Uh, and I'm really tempted to go damage resistance on this one. So I'm going to I'm gonna kind of ask you guys because I don't really know which one to go here. Should I go damage resistance or should I go movement speed? I'm kind of leaning more towards damage resistance. Uh, but right now, because it is Shadow Shard, the 35% durability does make a big deal too. It does really help out. Although now that I'm farming... Um, now that I'm farming, what's it called? Uh, uh, Storm chests on the Fridays, I'm getting a lot more Shadow Shard. So I'm not that worried about them, you know, messing up again. Uh, it heals every time you attack. I thought it I thought it does too. I thought Life Leech was every single time you hit, but it's not. It's whenever you defeat one. Hmm, go figure. Uh, so for those of you, the Stab Worth, I'm keeping my Stab Worth exactly the same. It's got the Life Leech. It's got the damage. it got the attack speed. And damage to afflicted targets. I'm kind of wanting to take this double uh, attack speed, but for now, I'm going to leave it that way. And for those of you who have seen, I do have the Vendor Tech Slicer, which right now, because we are still doing the Horde Bash, the weekly Horde and everything, uh, I'm going to keep this Vendor Tech Slicer at 82 because it is it is by far the best weapon. Uh, that I have energy wise uh, blade, but I need another blade weapon. I want an energy level 106 blade weapon. So what am I going to do? I'm going to take this storm blade, which already has damage to afflicted affliction, uh, causing affliction. Uh, it's got attack speed, damage resistance and energy. We're going to take this guy all the way up to 106 and we're going to make an obsidian. So let's do this. Um, and while I do this, let me kind of explain a little bit about my thought process here and why I'm doing this. Um, you guys are going to notice that I am going to take a lot of like regular schematics, schematics that you can um, get in llamas easily or even schematics that you can get in uh, that you can recruit, you know, that you can like recruit schematics or what's that called when you can take a schematic out of the collection book. Um, most of those I'm not going to have a problem taking to Obsidian because if I find one that's really, really awesome, I'm going, I can just get another one eventually and take it to Shadow Shard. But event weapons, for example, like that Vendor Tech Slicer, that Vendor Tech Slicer, I am 100% guaranteed going to take that one. Thank you. Research schematics. Thank you. I am 100% going to take that Vendor Tech Slicer to Shadow Shard. Why? Because it's, a, it's an event weapon. Uh, with, I feel that event weapons are worth taking to Shadow Shard. Uh, so let's check it this evolution. This Stormblade has uh, 6338 in damage as Obsidian. Yes, it is a lot more damage as Shadow Shard. But again, remember, I am going to be focusing on this attack speed. This weapon is going to have double attack speed. And I do want it to last a little bit longer. The durability does drop a lot. And the attack speed. I know that doesn't seem like a lot of change in the attack speed. Uh, but for those of us who have been working a lot on... Wow, that's a lot. Uh, for both for those of us who have been working a lot on our weapons, um, you like especially swords, you understand and you can see how so many of those are it's 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 incredible it's incredible how much difference um it's really incredible how much of a difference the let's put him in special slot where is he there he is put in favor it's incredible just how much of a difference um the speed makes it's incredible so because of that we're going to go ahead and work on this weapon a little bit uh we're going to go ahead and keep that attack speed we're going to level this up we're just going to take this guy all Oh, I can't take him up all blue. Oh, no. Oh, no. Okay, we got to do this then. We got to do this. We got to do this really fast. Uh, we've got 1,000. We've got 1,000 gold. Yeah, man. Yeah. Let's buy this rare perk up. Mine. And go back in. Um, boop. 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 There he is. Um, yep. One... Two, do we have enough? Three. Okay, so what we're going to do is we are going to keep the attack speed. We're going to keep the damage resistance because we're going to see just how much it does. We're going to keep the energy and damage, of course, because we can't change it. But we're going to be changing this critical rating to attack speed. So this weapon is going to be carrying double attack speed, damage resistance, damage to afflicted, uh, causing damage to affliction, and energy and damage. So uh, there we go. 106 weapon um you know what just just for the fun of it 
Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna go ahead and leave this party really quick. Sorry, guys. Uh, and we're gonna go into a level 70 mission really fast and just try it out really fast. Uh, let's go ahead and yeah, let's jump into this one. So we're gonna go into this deliver the bomb, and I'm going to create a Masamune and this Stormblade. And I think I already have, I do have, I do have a stab worth already. Uh, we're going to compare really quickly those three weapons side by side by side and see just how much damage they can do. But I did see someone ask um, what the top three melee weapons are. In my opinion, and this is what I'm going to say, I don't really use any of the other ones. I don't use scythes. I don't use hammers. I don't use axes. I don't use blunt objects. Um, so I can only really talk about the 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 slicing you know the the slicers the swords and for me personally i believe um i believe that the vindertek slicer the masamune and probably i'd have to put the stab worth up in there too because the stab worth does have the capacity to have the triples uh the it, it is a, it is the fastest weapon um all right so we're gonna go ahead and make one of these and we're gonna head and make one of these yeah this is very fun. I am very excited, guys. I am very excited by this. Okay, so here's my Masamune. Masamune in the first slot. And my brand new Stormblade in the third slot. All right, so here we go. There's my Masamune. Just to take a look, this is the speed of the Masamune. Whew. This is the speed of the Stabsworth. Very close, very comparable. And remember, the Stabsworth only has one attack speed, whereas the Masamune has triple attack speed. And the brand new Stormblade with double attack speed. Oh! It's just slightly slower than the Masamune. Look at that. I mean, you can't even compare that. Okay. All right. Let's let's have some fun here. Damage resistance is not bad. Damage resistance is not bad. I'm not going to I'm not going to deny that. That damage that damage resistance is nice. Oh man. Okay, let's take a look here. Uh oh, you know what? Let's go find a, a battle. We're going to go find a battle and we're going to test out the um uh how high we can get our all right so hopefully we don't have any yes we don't have any good i was hoping we didn't have any uh, any red eyes okay so we're trying to build up our our bonuses here we're trying to stack up our bonuses that's why i'm letting myself get hurt a lot so i can stack these up all right let's see so 53,000, 27, and 27. Oh, I didn't get enough, unfortunately. But that's pretty cool. That's pretty cool. All right, so the Masamune is still by far the king. I mean, I, I, I have no doubt that the Masamune is by far the best weapon I have. Um, it's just, it's ridiculous. But it's nice to have a, it's nice to have an energy weapon now. It's very nice to have an energy weapon, and of course, the, these do... Um, there we go. These do have the... Uh, what's it called? Uh, oh my goodness, I love it. Affliction. Having Affliction will really help them. Man. So again, Stormblade. Stabsworth with only one. Stabsworth, Stabsworth with only one. And Masamune with triple epic attack speed. Can you imagine once those three are legendary? Anyway, I'm gonna leave it those. There. I'm gonna leave it there, guys. <laughs> Thank you very much for watching. That's pretty much it, guys. That's that's almost that's almost all she wrote uh, when it comes to my. Um, that's pretty much all she wrote when it comes to uh, to building up my setup. Um, I'm thinking I'm gonna keep doing other stuff. For example, I'm gonna make some more stabs worth because I would like other stabs worth. Um, I'm eventually I'm gonna take the vacuum tube sword and the Vindatex slicer both up to uh, to uh, shadow shard because of course they're event weapons and uh, there's my squad. I'm running the double sword master Ken with the Sarah class which that does include giving me the double five win cuts and with all the other bonus that you can guys can go check 
uh, on my, in my second uh, le uh, ultimate mi uh, ninja setup. I did make a video talking about, you know, that when I took everyone up. Uh, and if you can see there, just the accumulation of all of the percentages that you can get. And of course, when you start using, um, can I check? I can't even see him. No, I can't see him. Um, when you start using all of the, um, of the, what's it called? Uh, when you get all the, all the bonuses and everything, what's that called again? The, um, when his, when his hand starts glowing with that little electric electricity, um, what's that called again? Let's see. Um, it is, uh, assassination. Yes. Assassination and long assassin. So assassination, stacking all that up, uh, with Masamune and everything. It just, it. It's incredible. It's absolutely crazy. Anyway, anyway. Thank you very much for watching, guys. As always, I am DUJ2. Remember, guys, if you want to see that really, really awesome uh, ninja, the the scythe ninja that Miss Mew Mew uh, has, I'll leave a link down below in the uh, in the description to her videos, as well as the end. It'll pop up, and you guys can see it. But thanks a lot, guys. Have a wonderful day, and um, I'll see you guys next time. See ya.